Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a overall review and an unboxing of the Coach Pillow Tabby and I'm going to be showing it to you in both the 26 and the 18. The one that I'm going to be unboxing is in the size 18. I do have another one in my collection already and I've just been loving this bag so much. Honestly even more than I did when I first bought them. So that's what really inspired me to do this video is that I've been grabbing for the Coach pillow tabby a lot. I've been wearing it a lot and then I had to get it in another color. So I'm excited to get into the unboxing and kind of the overall comparison review. But before I do that, I do want to introduce myself in case you're new here. Welcome. My name is Alyssa and I have a blog called The Gal's Guide and I come on here and I review my luxury and contemporary handbags. So if you love handbags as much as I do, you should definitely consider subscribing down below. Hit that little red button. I would love to have you join this little community with me here. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I'm always just so grateful for you and I love chatting with you in the comments down below and I know how much you love coach just as much as I do. So I hope that you like this video. As always, I greatly appreciate your support. So don't forget to leave a like or a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. So that being said, let's get into it. So I'm going to start with the actual unboxing. So it's snowing out. The box that I got this bag in was all wet. So I did take it out of the box. I have it sitting in front of me in the dust bag. I haven't looked at it yet. I did buy this particular bag off of eBay because they no longer make this color and I saw it once and I knew it had been discounted a few times actually through a couple different websites like I had seen it discounted on Dillard's, Macy's, things like that and I just never got it because I had one and I thought oh I don't want to get another and it be duplicative but I somehow keep going back to this bag in this particular color and almost finding other bags in the same color when I could just get this one for a great price. So I got the Coach Pillow Tabby in the size 18 and so I did buy this on eBay. Wow. So I got it in this vanilla color and I just love it. It's just like a little yellow kind of banana colored bag in my opinion. I almost feel like this just looks like a creme brulee kind of banana pudding almost color that I just love. I think it looks so delicious. So this is a brand new bag. It does still seem to have the tag on it which it looks like this person got it from Dillard's if I had to guess and it looks like they have the strap still attached with the plastic here, but I am probably going to cut that off and then put the crossbody strap on. So overall, I would say, yes, this looks brand new. The only thing about these bags is sometimes you get this kind of pulling, which I had seen it a little bit in the photos, maybe not as drastic as I'm seeing it in person. You know, it doesn't super bother me because honestly, I know that they all do this and it's just the material and how kind of puffy they are. I wouldn't say it looks like incredibly bad. I'm interested to hear your thoughts in the comments. I don't I don't think it's like looks like it's damaged. It just looks like it's kind of the natural pulling of the leather. I will show you my other one which is in the gold metallic color. I'll kind of compare them side by side. So this one is the gold. This one I wear constantly. I wear it all the time, but you can see it does have that pulling a little bit, but because it's metallic and almost like reflects it, so you really can't see it as much as you can in the regular leather, if that makes sense. So overall, I would say it's not bad. It's just a little bit more prominent on the leather than it is on this one. I do love this so far. I think it is so adorable. I really love this color. Let's open it up. So, okay, it still has the blue little sticker on the little magnetic closure here. It is stuffed. So it has the two pockets, obviously, and then the back pocket back here. Uh, I am very familiar with how small this bag is. So if you haven't watched my original review of this bag, I show you what we can fit in here and we'll do that in this video as well. I'll kind of get a comparison of what you can fit in this bag versus what you can fit in the 26, which I'm going to show you in just a bit. But overall, this bag has really nice features, which is why I was able to justify getting another one. So what I love 
love is the fact that you have the top handle because you can wear it as a clutch, you can wear it on the crook of your arm, and then the crossbody is adjustable and honestly just really comfortable to wear. I would say overall, I think this vanilla color, which is honestly like a yellow, like it's not like a white, it's like a vanilla banana buttery pudding. Like I literally just want to take a bite out of this. Like it's kind of like a little vanilla croissant or something. Like I just love it. I am really into finding bags that are almost delicious, like a dessert. I don't know what it is. It's like a piece of art to me. If you agree, if you find that you're doing that as well, leave that in the comments down below. It could just be a me thing. Overall, I love this bag because of the detailing. I think it's super chic. I love the C on the front. I love the puffiness of this leather. It's absolutely breathtaking. And I've talked about this on my other pillow tabby quite a bit of just how much I love it and how versatile this one is, especially because the gold, I can wear it from day to night. It goes with a lot of my outfits. I think this color is going to be more of like my spring summer bag, which I'm really excited about. I think it'll pop with a couple different outfits I have in mind. So now that we've done the presentation of the 18, I'm going to show you the Coach Pillow Tabby 26. And I have this in this beautiful green color. I can't remember the exact name. It's either forest green or evergreen. I have to check, but I will leave it in the description box below because I can't remember the exact name. But I picked this bag up last year. I got this at my local TJ Maxx and it was like significantly discounted. Like I believe I got this for $250 or something like that. And honestly, you just can't beat it. It's a $500 bag. So I'm so glad that I got this. So when you open it up, I have the top handle strap in there, which you do get with this bag. I will say before I go any further, the one thing about this is I don't usually wear this on this bag because number one, it's not long enough to wear on the shoulder for me. I think it looks absolutely outrageous. So I just don't wear it like that. I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense for me. I also don't like wearing this top handle strap with the crossbody. I like to do one or the other. So if this is going to be on the bag, I'm wearing it as a top handle clutch bag. I'm carrying it handheld. If I'm wearing it with a crossbody, the top handle strap isn't on. And I'll tell you why. I think it looks bulky. I think it adds too much going on with the bag. That's just my personal opinion. So I love this bag. I love it as a crossbody. I've been wearing it constantly as a crossbody, which is actually what inspired this video for me. So inside, similar to the 18, you've got the two pockets, there goes the dust bag, but you've got this zipper interior, which is different from the 18. The 18 just has that line in between, and then the 18 has a pocket back here, which this one does not have, but it makes sense because you've got this great zipper pocket here. And then the back of the bag is just plain, similar to the size 18. There are no feet on the bottom on this one either, they both have this really great pillow puffy dog tag which I just love and then on all of mine they do have gold hardware this bag does come in a couple different variations some of them do have silver hardware I really love the gold hardware on these bags I think it's absolutely stunning I have no issues with it chipping or cracking or anything like that I just think it's absolutely beautiful I think it makes the bags look really luxurious and I really love this pillow look on this particular bag I, I think it works works great. Overall, the one singular con that I have with this particular size is the pillow material really is deceiving to how much you can fit in here. So here in this front area, you've got so much material up front here. Like I don't know if you can get the full picture of how puffy this front part of the bag is and it just takes up so much of the actual kind of surface area of the bag that it's almost deceiving as to how much you can fit in this front pocket because the bag looks so much bigger than you can actually fit, if that makes sense. However, I get my essentials in here. You can get more than you can get in this particular size, but I will say this doesn't give you a whole lot of wiggle room to work with. I did compare this bag to the Coach Pillow Madison and you can fit more in the Coach Pillow Madison bag. I will link that video in the description box if you haven't seen that, but it'll kind of give you an idea of how much you can fit in both of those if you're looking for a bag more this size. Let's get into what fits. So for the sake of the video, I am gonna stuff this 
this new one and this is obviously the vanilla color so I'm gonna start to see what we can get in this bag and then transfer over to the size 26 and see how much more we can get into there so I'm gonna start with a card holder this is my Alexander McQueen card holder and I just have like my gift cards and stuff in there but I'll show you what that looks like because that's a pretty standard size card holder that's how it takes up this front pocket space. Then I'm also gonna go in with my Louis Vuitton key pouch. I use this as my primary wallet. So I'm gonna put that in the same pocket with the card holder. So that's what that looks like. It will still close, so you've got that closed and it hasn't changed the shape or anything at this point in time. In this back pocket, I'm gonna put in my NYX Control Freak Brow Gel and I'm also gonna put in a staple. I have it on my lips today. I just got this in. It is the Dior Lip Oil. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I've only had it for two days and I love it. So that's what that looks like. So you've got your cosmetics back there. I'm also gonna put in a hand cream that is from Bath and Body Works and I will show you this will still close. So we've got all of those things in there. So two small leather goods and three cosmetics. The hand cream is quite big, so I'm actually kind of surprised that that's in there. But I'm gonna take out the cosmetics from the back and show you that my phone will fit in there. So I have the iPhone 14 Pro and it does fit in that back pocket as well. So if this is what you wanted to carry for the night, that would be great if you wanted to take this for a night out. You can just fit your phone, your wallet, and an additional small leather good in there. And then you know what? I'm gonna be crazy, and I'm gonna see if I can get the lip oil in the front, which I think this may work. We'll see if it closes. And it does, if you heard that snap. So that is quite a lot. I mean, this is a tiny, tiny bag. And you can get quite a bit in here. It really doesn't change the shape. It feels a little bit heavier, but like, of course it's going to. You've got all this stuff in here. But it's very comfortable to wear. The leather material on this is really lightweight. It's really, really beautiful. I mean, I can't say enough good things about this bag. I would say to me... The 18 size is one of my favorite bags. I grab it so much for going out to dinner and stuff like that. It's a really great evening bag. I give it a 10 out of 10 evening bag, travel bag. I've taken my gold one with me just about everywhere because it's so versatile and it matches everything. So that's what you can fit in here. Let's transfer this into the 26 and see how much more room we have. So I'm gonna start stuffing this. So I'm gonna put my phone in the back and then I'm gonna put my key pouch in the front and my card holder in the front and I will show you what that looks like. So I've got all of that in there and there's still tons of room. So I'm gonna put all three cosmetics in here. I'm actually gonna put them in the center zip pocket and kind of show you what that looks like. So it does take up quite a bit of space when you start stuffing this, but that will zipper shut. And once you zipper it, it looks really nice and organized actually. So I can definitely fit more in here. So I'm gonna put this little clip in here. It's like Dior, but it's not real Dior. I caught it from somewhere, I don't know. Then I'm also gonna put in my travel size Advil. I'm gonna put that up in the front. So that's what this looks like. So I've got my phone, the hair clip, the Advil, the two small leather goods, and then those three cosmetics in here. And I will show you this does close. So I've got all that stuff in there. It does not change the shape at all. And I honestly think I could still fit more. So if I wanted to add like another lipstick, I can put that in there. I also would put my keys in here. I don't have them with me right now, but they would definitely fit in here. And then I'll also put in a travel size perfume. So I have the YSL Black Opium perfume. So I just put it on top of my phone back there. And so with those additional things, this does close. So I got a ton more in this bag. So for size comparison, the 26 fits loads more than the 18. Just keep that in mind if that is like a primary reason why you'd be between the two. I am gonna show you some mod shots because I think that that's an important piece as well. If you don't think one of them is gonna look proportionate on you, that was one, that was honestly, 
something I had really worried about with the 26. I wasn't sure if it was gonna look too bulky on the body as a crossbody just because it's so puffy. I actually really like it. I know it's not for everybody, but I am gonna show you some mod shots. So I'm five foot two and I will show you what this looks like styled on me as a crossbody and compare it to the other size. So this is what the size 26 looks like on me. I do obviously have this heavily stuffed, but this is how it lays. It kind of lays like a baguette, which I actually really like. And I do have this on the shortest adjustment. And then if you wanted to wear it as a shoulder bag, which I do this a lot when I wear this to work, this is where it lays and I think it looks really casual and nice here. This is the vanilla color and I have this on crossbody. Obviously it's much smaller. I do kind of like to keep the top handle on. Sometimes I'll take it off, but just so you can see what it looks like with it on versus with it not there. So you can kind of have it hanging like this. You can grab at it. This is a perfect length for me. I do have this on the shortest adjustment as well. As a shoulder bag, this is what this looks like. Super cute and lays at just about the same height as the other size. This just looks much, much smaller. So that is going to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching if you're still here with me. If you have any questions about either of these bags, please leave that in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer those for you. I absolutely love these bags so much. I highly recommend them. I'm also interested to hear from you if you own either of these bags and in what colors. So thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.